Hey art friends, today we are going to draw a cute winter mouse. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start? Yeah. We're using marker paper to draw on. That's because we're drawing and coloring with markers. Let's first start by drawing our little mouse's nose. We're going to draw it right here in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw the letter V. Pretty small because we want our mouse to be super cute. We'll draw the top of the nose. Then we're going to draw a circle for one eye on the left. Then we're going to draw the same size circle for the eye on the right. And then let's draw a small circle in the top left of each eye. This is for the little shiny part to make the eyes look even cuter. Then we're going to draw or color in the big circle and leave the little circle white. We also colored in the nose and we sped that part up. So remember, if you need extra time, you can always pause that video. Yeah. Okay. Now let's draw our mouse's hat, a winter hat. We're going to draw a curve that goes over the top of the eyes. We're going to start here on the left and we're going to draw a curve that comes over. Oh, we're going to draw a really big mouse. <laughs> we're going to fill our paper. It's going to look really cute. Yes. Okay. Then let's draw the body. We're going to draw it coming down like this and we're going to go just below the eyes on each side. Yeah. And then let's draw the scarf. We're going to draw a curve that comes over and connects to the other side also. And I'm going a little past on each side. This side, this little line right here could maybe even come down a little further if you want. So they're equal on both sides. Yeah, there you go. And then connect with the curve for the top of the scarf and start just outside and go just past it on the side. Yes. Okay, now let's draw the hat. We're going to start on the side of the mouse's head. Right here, we're going to go past this little curve. And then we're going to come up for the hat. And then we're going to come back down. <laughs> And then right here, we're going to go past and then into the side of the head. Kind of looks like a little mushroom. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now let's draw the ears sticking out of the hat. I'm going to draw a curve. Well, we're going to get really close to the side of the paper. We're going to curve around and then we're going to connect back into the hat. Yes. And then let's create that same shape and try to match the same size over here. So I'm going to use my eyes to draw kind of imaginary line over to this side and we're going to come up to the same height down curve back into the hat in the same place. Yours is my favorite. It's super cute. Oh, thanks. Okay. I'm going to add a little pom pom on the top. You're really close to the top of the paper. So you could draw maybe a smaller pom pom. I'll draw a small one too. You could draw a really big one if you have lots of room. Draw a little zigzag that goes around in a circle. You could also leave the pom-pom off. You could even add extra details to your mouse too. Oh, I think we should add whiskers next. Good job. You did it. Okay. Let's add the whiskers. I'm going to draw one, two, three, and one, two, three on this side. Next, let's draw the scarf and we're going to draw on top of the whisker. That's okay. We're going to draw, come out. And then we're going to come down and I'm going to do the same thing over here out and then down. Well, I like how tall your scarf is. I'm going to draw mine a little taller on each side too. And then let's connect these two lines together with a curve also. Let's put our mouse inside of a big pile of snow. I'm going to start over here and we're going to draw a bumpy line that comes over to the other side. It looks like a little hill of snow. Now let's draw the body coming out of the scarf and into the snow on each side. And we can also draw the little fingers for our mouse. I'm going to just draw three fingers. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, hanging on to the snow and three little fingers over here too.
Then we can draw a little curve for the arm coming into the shoulder on each side. What's our mouse missing? A tail. Yeah, let's add a little tail coming out of the snow. I'm gonna draw it curving out this way, the back this way, and then I'm gonna also curve it down. Then let's start at the end of the tail and we'll draw a point at the end and we'll follow the same curve around, but towards the bottom, I'm gonna get a little further away so the tail gets thicker at the very bottom. Oh, let's also draw the end of the scarf coming down from the side and connecting to the snow. We did it, Taryn. We finished drawing our little mouse, but we're not completely done. We still gotta color it. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Now, before we fast forward, let's pick out the colors we're going to use. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, the colors that I've picked out are 66 blue and 182 blue. This light blue we're using for the snow. 66 I'm using for the hat and also the scarf. What color are you using? I'm going to use number six for the hat and scarf. So that's like a darker pink. And then we have, oh, did we mention our light pink? 17 for the ear and also maybe the toes or fingers and tail. Although I might just color the tail gray. And we're using CG1, a light gray, to do that. So the mouse will be CG1. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it. We finished coloring and drawing our winter mice. And they turned out awesome. I especially love yours, Taryn. And I love that you changed the colors and you even added eyelashes. I also added little snowballs to mine and you can add even more details. You could add a background. You could even change your mouse and add maybe a sweater. Or even change the pattern on the hat and scarf. Oh yeah, we added stripes, but you could add polka dots or even a completely different pattern. Maybe lots of hearts. We hope you had fun drawing your winter mouse. Yeah, and remember, it's okay if your drawings look different. Both of our drawings look a little different, and they both turned out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And to practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.